and you and I are like, like sisters. <laughs> sisters. Pally, we're like twins. There, Lindsay Lohan, way back when, remake of the movie The Parent Trap. But this is real life. And we're talking about babies who are, uh, again, half brother and sister. And the question is, is that is that's what's best for the kids? For Cielo to go with David and Cedric to go with Ryan. Back with us, our one-man justice squad, Jeff Gold. Jeff, how do you see this playing out? You, will, will a judge go along with this? Well, you have it exactly right. The question the judge has to ask in these custody cases is what's best for the kids. Now, first of all, fatherhood matters, so that's one factor. The kids being together, though, that's another factor. And then you have this whole wild and crazy kind of, this whole thing has been engineered where they each impregnated an egg of the same woman and then had that implanted into a surrogate, you know, rent a womb, so to speak. And they were apparently, you know, not getting along at the time they did this and, and said, you know, as many couples do, well, this may save our our marriage, but the whole fact that it's gay marriage on top of everything else and that there really is not a mom involved in the custody, you know, these are these are, are big issues. Uh, but ultimately, the judge will do exactly what you said and decide what's best for the kids. You know, you kind of intimated it there, Jeff. Now, Ryan Jurica says that this was David's idea, and it doesn't sound like he was fully on board. He was on with uh, our colleague Susan Hendricks and Now in America. Let's hear what he had to say. And Ryan, do you feel at all that you um, lost a daughter in this divorce? Oh, absolutely. I still feel like I lost a daughter. I hope the kids can be in each other's lives as much as possible, and that's what I'm working hard to do. Is David the one who made the decision to separate the twins? Uh, he did, yes. He said, he goes, well, we know that the boy is yours and the girl is mine, and you can have your son and I'll have my daughter and we can move on with our lives. Well, we have been communicating a little bit here and there the past couple of weeks, and we're both agreeing that they need to be in each other's lives as much as possible, and however we get there, we'll get there. So there, there's the resolution that's on the table now, Jeff, that, that the children will be in their lives as much as possible and we'll get there when we get there. Is that enough for a judge, you think, as we move forward? You know, it, it, it's hard to say because these are babies. They, you know, can't ask the kids. If you have six and seven-year-olds and up, I mean, you can talk to the kids, and the judge frequently will talk to the kids as to what they want. And, but you know, here, what bothers me is that it was this sort of engineered that they, that, you know, it was very unusual that they had the two eggs impregnated separately and put almost as if they envisioned this might happen one day. And this isn't splitting up your puppies. I mean, these are kids. Um, that that's a real hard one, and I don't know what the judge is going to do. It's likely, though, in my opinion, that this arrangement would hold, um, because what else is the judge going to do? Say mm. no, the kids have to go to one or the other. It's 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 both dicey propositions. It really is something that it, it boggles my mind that they could have done this, engineered it, and now we're left with the kids having the big problem. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, let's listen. Here's David Tatera. He was on The View talking about it. And in the midst of all that, you've laid out a lot. There's even more that Ryan is alleging that Dave is some kind of a sex addict. Here's his response to that on The View. 